Good morning, guys. It's Thursday for us, and it's finally fall. Fall has arrived again. I got my jeans on. Gabby's got pants on. Sophie's got pants on. We got long sleeves on. It's fall. I mean, it looked like fall last week because the leaves were all over the ground. There's Sophie. Do you think the outfit clashes? You got mom's flip flops on. Yeah, it clashes. Hi guys. The outfit, the outfit with the shoes? No, no. Oh, oh, you think the pants and the shirt clash? Yeah. I don't know, they match exactly perfect. That's another one of Sophie's back to school outfits that we didn't get to put in our little fashion show last week or a couple weeks ago when we went back to school shopping. Anyway, the girl sings there pulling one over on me because we're outside and I'm vlogging and they don't have to do homeschool right yet, but they have to do homeschool right yet. Come on, let's go. Recess is over. Come on, let's go. I just walk away and poof, the kids arrive. They follow behind me. Good morning. Yes, good morning and welcome to today. It is freezing outside. If you guys don't remember or you're just tuning in now, it was a heat wave for the last week and a half. Like, I'm talking heat wave, we can't even breathe. We had to put our air conditioning back on. It was crazy. I'm gonna introduce you to the carnage that is having a baby kitten rescue. So this is what we wake up to every single morning. We lock him in the downstairs bathroom because otherwise he keeps us all awake and we need to be able to sleep. But this is what we wake up to. First you find the trail of toilet paper. We move all the toilet paper up here so that he can't get it. But somehow he got some. He had got his bag of kitten food and spilled it all over. He can jump, mom. Yeah, apparently he can jump. Cats can jump. So every morning I'm cleaning up a massive mess in the basement. Is it worth it though? Yeah. Not in the basement. In the dancer's bathroom. Is it worth it though? It's worth it. It is so worth it. He's so much fun. What is happening over here? He caught the rascal. You caught the rascal? No. That's not why I called you. What? Yeah, he's making messes all over the house. Found a little ball of wool, just like a typical kitten, and he's got it all messed up. It's our doggy bed. He only loves, like, he'll only stay for a long time if you hold you him like this. Him. He's like, come on, it wasn't my fault. You locked me in there. You locked me in there. That's oh, so no, mean. Did you finish all your food that I left you last night and you needed more? See, he's smart. He knows how to get the food. Look at him all cuddled in Gabby's black shirt. I'm his mama, I'm his black cat mom. You're his black cat mama. How come? Gabby's always wearing black. Cause she likes black. Yeah, black's my favorite color. Aw. Black Shit. is my favorite color too. Gabby, finger. Sophie's wearing purple I'm today. Thinking. Aw, he's like, what do you have on that, those fingers? Mm, that's um, like, tastes um, yummy. We have a new homeschool setup that we woke up to this morning and it looks like this. So we got the one computer there that we've always had. We've got my computer yeah, here that we always this. have. And now we have a third computer here. So this is what it looks like. Kind of crazy. So I don't know what's happening. This is our old computer that's really high powered and Sam loves. So I think he's gonna do the vlog on this computer. And then this is my computer, and then this is the... My computer. Kid's computer. No, this is my computer, because I play as so on it. Oh, which reminds me, I just have to put Sophia's email on SSL, because yes. I left it there. Um, no. No, I have to. Yeah, after school. After school, you can do it. No, Mom, let her. No, we have to do school first. I think it hurts Toby's feelings to be wearing a girl's diaper. Toby. You're, oh, you undid it. Maybe he does hate it. Maybe he doesn't want to wear a girl's diaper. Listen, dude, you gotta wear that just to keep our house safe. So Toby's wearing a girl's diaper, but he's got on a Batman shirt that I made for him out of a children's sock, a little kid's sock. That's how tiny he is. Maisie, you just pushed him. Who just pushed my boy? Look at you guys, he's kind of playing with me a little. He, he never used to play because he's a puppy mill rescue and he never felt free enough to play. This girl plays, actually she doesn't really play, but this girl plays. But he's starting to play, he's starting to play. Yes you are. 
Yes, you want all the attention. This is the girl who wants all the attention. And this is the boy who wants none of the attention, but needs all the attention. It occurred to me that we have not really given you guys an update on the farm stuff. We liked the farm that we went to visit because it was a good, cheap price and that's what we're looking for it was kind of dirty and messy and not really our style but i think we could work with it because it was so cheap we'd be able to fix it up a lot oh sorry cook sorry i pull i pulled her ear like this i can pull anything on macy and she never fights me or she never cries i can hang macy up si yeah she's a scared little girl she's a scared little rescue you're scared little rescue, huh? But she's so pretty. Anyway, so yeah, I'm nervous to bite the bullet and say let's go for the house. But we really want to farm and the longer this goes on with Ziggy, the more we know we want to farm. So there's another farm that I'm going to ask Sam to book an appointment for us to look at tomorrow that is in the same price range. It's a little tiny bit more and it's a bit of a different setup. So we're going to go and look at that and then I feel like it's getting close, you guys. I feel like we're about to jump. I just, I don't know. I just feel like... I feel nervous. I feel nervous about everything. Every single thing that we do that's like a life altering situation, I always feel super nervous of it. I just don't wanna move into a house that's really crappy because we can have animals there and then be unhappy. I don't wanna ever be unhappy where I live. I need lots of light and I don't know. There's only two more days left of this month and we still haven't heard about Ziggy and I feel so discouraged today and so much like he's, we're not gonna get him. Like, what are the chances? And I started to say to myself, you know what? If we don't get him, we don't get him. There's nothing that I can do. I'm just gonna start looking for our own horse. And we'll board it at the same barn and we'll still learn all about horses the same way that we would if we had Ziggy. And I just kept thinking, you know, God has a plan for us and he knows what's best and we just have to go with that. And then, uh, all of a sudden, after I was thinking all those things all day, I was so discouraged. People have been sending me Ziggy things, Ziggy signs, all day. And then I'm like, oh, maybe it's true. Maybe we will get them. Do you think? I'm talking on the real vlog. Or are you ma oh, are you making video? I'm talking on the real vlog. Okay. So, uh, one girl sent me a sign. She found a sign somewhere, and it said, Zed... Uh, G Y Z G Y, and it was like it was a Ziggy sign. And then another girl went to her toy store, and she found a Ziggy horse there. And I don't know. A lot of people are sending us signs, and I just wish I knew. I just wish I knew. <laughs> if I just knew, I could just relax. But anyway, we have so much fun things. Today's Thursday. We have so many amazing things happening this weekend. Like so many things. Like I'm not good at keeping secrets, you guys. But I have a secret, and I've been keeping it. And so I'm feeling like cut this out of the video because yeah I have a big mouth and I have a secret and the girls have a secret and we all know the secret but you guys don't know the secret and it's happening this weekend and by Sunday oh, yeah. you guys are gonna yeah, shh. no and you guys are gonna know the secret by Sunday but yeah we have a secret that and I can't say any more I have to turn the camera off right now because I know I'm just gonna give it away it's 3 p.m. the girls are done homeschool and they are playing we Star Stables horses. yeah they already know we got two horses oh. but they're playing a Star Stable and Gabby's getting super serious on Star Stable are you getting super serious on Star Stable no what's happening on Star Stable anything Guys, cool look. no yeah what yeah they got new pets does everybody have a pet? How did you get the pet? Redeem code. Redeem code. How did you get the pet? Your sister redeemed a code for you? Yeah. That's how it always works. I, oh, and there's some kitty drama going on. I don't know. Whoa. Listen, I know you're just trying to play, but she's old and she doesn't know that you're just trying to play. You're scaring my kitty. And then the dogs are like, oh, oh my goodness, all the drama. Everybody likes drama. All right, here comes my Gabby. Spencer, your breakfast minutes are numbered. Some people are saying when they have to catch horses, they have to like really catch them. Spencer's a good boy now. All right. You cut a pony. One last bite. Well, I guess this is like he's having some breakfast down here too. He's like, I found some. I guys thought you were going to not let me have breakfast, but I found some. Right. He's like, no. 
Okay, come on. One more bite. I'm coming. All right, are you going first? All right, there goes Gabby and Spencer. See, if these were our horses and we had our helmets, we could actually ride them. Spencer feels so weird bareback. Yeah, he's like little. Come on, you gotta get up there ahead of us. We can walk beside each other. Oh, okay, let's walk beside each other. Come on. It's me and my girl and our horses. Walking up to ride them and groom them. This would be like if we had horses. We'd be just doing this all day now. Obviously we wouldn't, but we want to. We see them breakfast and just go for a little bareback ride. Like really yeah. easy, like five minute yeah. bareback ride. Do you want to just do like a lot of easy with them? You don't want to just like drive them, ride them, jump and race. Especially with Spencer, because he's really old. Do you have, like he's the oldest in the barn. So you're gonna have to like not go too hard on him. Yeah, like we want to be gentle, but we want to just love them a lot, don't we? Yeah. It's not just about riding. Gabby. Trust your horse, just look ahead.
Amazing! Good job, Gabby! To be a pro at that, eh? That was the jump. Good. I didn't want to jump it like 5,000 times. Why? That's how you get, that's how you practice. Yeah, once you get used to it, it'd be too low. I'll have to go higher. I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but Gabby was terrified. I'm sweating. Were you terrified to jump two jumps? A line of jumps? Is that what that's called? No, two feet on Spencer. Yeah, so she jumped 18 it looks inches. Like this Go show them. She jumped this 18 inches. She jumped 18 inches here, and then she wanted her to jump two feet there. And what did you say? Okay, do it. And then she wanted. Yes, you can. You can jump two feet. Yep, come on, you can do it. She wanted her to jump two feet. And what did you say? You said, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Literally, she's like the most polite, sassy girl ever because she's like, no, no, I can't. No, I'm not. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> she's saying, no, thank you. Because she was so afraid. She was terrified, like for real terrified. I've only done two feet on one. Is that like the second time you've jumped two feet? Mm -hmm. So she jumped there, and then she jumped here, and this one was two feet, but you did it. Did you, and how did you feel? Good. Would like, you do it again next time? No. But you did it. Oh, would you do it again next time? Yeah, like when the next time she kind says, of. you're going to do it? Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.